You're on. Hi, I'm Paia Bob, 808 YouTube. I'd like for your friends to see what I'm doing because this is really important. You know, the congressional record of, um, I'm kind of looking around here, but it's XXX1, but it was 1998 and page number uh, 6311, annexing of a Y. This is the annexation of it. You can't see it. I know you can't see it. And I'm just going to pause through here and show you that the United States Senate only had 10 votes for annexation. They had 34 for none and 44 abstaining. That's no way to have a country. That's no way, you know? Somewhere along the way, there have to be, you know, somebody who understands law and international law and, and get us out of this issue of, of where we have people who are, aren't born of this country trying to become president, you know? It's not right, you know? It's not right for the Clintons. It's not right for, it's not right for no one, especially the Kanakamolis, the Kingdom of Hawaii, you know? And, and you know, go back, I'm, I want to go back here a, a, a little more and I'm trying to, I got it down here on the floor so I'm trying to read it. So you see my eyes go down, you'll know. But the sacred trust, was, the sacred trust was formed in 1948 after all the colonial states had taken over for many, many, many years. And after World War II, they had the sacred trust. India was the first one to be given the right, you're, you're, you're on your own. The Kanakamolis had treaties with Hawaii, the Senate voted it down, and they became a state. How did they become a state? Right here in the United Nations, when, when the Senator Inouye went down to the um, uh, United Nations said, oh, the Hawaiians had become part of the United States. They, they don't want to be with themselves. Well, that was a big lie. Of course, all of that is all lies. But in 1946, the Article 73 was put in that gave every territory the right for self-determination. That was their right. That was their trust right. I, how can you be American when you don't have any sacred trust? You know, I mean, you look out there. Look at man. I mean, this is really, really bad. And it's going to get worse as time goes by. And then when they made a statehood out of it, it the United Nations uh, in 1960, General Assembly, Resolution 1415, X14, maybe that's 15, December 15, 1960, said that the state did not meet the burden of self-determination. It only gave statehood or territory, you know? And that's where Obama's from. I'm not against Obama. I'm against the people who think they're lawyers and who can't live by the rule of law. It's just, what's it coming to, you know? It's just like, you know, are we, are we, and, and again, if Obama wins, which I don't think he should win, I don't think it's up to the American people to make him win. But if he does come, how does he go to the United Nations? How does he get up there and says, oh, we're going to bring peace and love to the world? Yeah, occupying Hawaii, that's the only peace and love that they have, you know? I, I can go on, I, I don't want to be on a soap opera, but I'd like for everybody to look at www.freehawaii.org so you understand what's been going on. And I'd like for everybody to look, uh, write your congressman or get this paper here. I know that this isn't on the Free Hawaii because we didn't put it on Free Hawaii. I just found it. It took a long time to find this, but every senator should be looking at it and um, seeing if the Senate rejected state uh, annexation. Thank you very much for the time, and thank you, my producer, Dave.